Well, hello loves and happy Sunday to you. Um, um, today is actually like part three of um, me trying to find my inspiration. And um, I'll link to part one and part two, but you've actually had over the last three weeks, including today, kind of a live view of what happens when I'm going through a period where I feel uninspired, I don't know what to create, and um, I've kind of given you my roadmap to how I kind of come back to feeling inspired and what I do in the process. And um, so the first one was I just show up. That was the first video. And then the second video was, um, which one, what was it? It was, oh, the questions that I ask myself. And then today, today is about doing something different. And today's video, um, I, I want to just pose to you that if you are feeling uninspired <clears throat> or don't know what to create, um, do something different for yourself. Um, take a walk, um, change your workout, um, take a little mini trip if you can, if you're safe. Um, do something different. Uh, listen to a different podcast or read a different book or find some music that you haven't listened to before. But do something different. Um, and with these three things that I have done over the last three weeks, this last one of doing something different with combination of the others, it clicked for me. I felt that kind of release of kind of that overshadowing. I don't know what to do. And when I, when I changed things up for myself this week, um, it was like the inspiration over flow. So good. I love it when that happens. I was waking up thinking about things. Um, and so it's important to not just when you're not feeling inspired to create, to not just walk away, but to be active and do some things to help you get through that time. And I've tried, I've wanted to show you that in real time, how I go through it so that maybe it will inspire you. So this week, what I did was I, again, was like, oh, I just don't know. So I put my coat on and I, we live about 25 minutes from the water with Lake Erie, which is like the ocean, basically. And I put my coat on and it was cold and windy and I still went and I don't like cold. I, I pushed myself to do something different and believe me, I almost talked myself out of it because it was it's so cold right now, which is crazy. And um, I drove down to the water and I walked. <clears throat> I walked along the boardwalk. I walked, I sat on the bench. I did some thinking. I brought my camera and I took pictures. And I walked down to the water edge and it was windy and blustery and the waves were crashing. And as I filmed it, it was like something happened. I could see colors. I could see a piece coming together. I could feel it. It did something to my soul. It stirred, stirred something within me. It got me out of the thinking, the rut, the routine, everything. It changed everything. Maybe it was the cold air, whatever it was. When we take action, to do something um, different, um, it will give you memories, it will give you ideas, it could give you new photos. I got some great photos, um, some great video. When we do something different, um, it changes us. It changes our thinking and it gives us something different to focus on. And um, sometimes I, you know, I think about the quote that what we focus on grows. Well, if we're always focused on the fact that I'm not good, I don't have any ideas, that will tend to grow. And when we can get out of our routine and do something different, um, it 
always helps me. And it could, it doesn't have to be a trip to the water. It could be even just a walk around the block or, um, gardening or whatever it might be for you to switch things up a little bit and find some inspiration. And it worked for me this week and it feels wonderful. So let me show you from my, um, trip to the lake what inspiration um, came. So um, I showed you some of the video as I was talking of my little trip. And so here are some pictures that I took um, that I absolutely love. I love the, the cult, this kind of grayish color. There's a little bit of kind of pinks in here, some maybe some like sienna color, lots of different variations of gray or raw umber. Mm. I love it. So I'm going to use some of these pictures in my piece today. Um, and what I did first and foremost was I looked at my piece and I, I wanted to pull out a palette color um, to help me move along in my process. And so I've mixed up and you can see out here on my palette that I spent some time just kind of thinking about this, what it meant, how it felt, and it was so peaceful to me. Um, it was so peaceful and it just was calming. It kind of calmed all my fears of, oh, I don't have any ideas. Um, and so I, I took that information it, I took the emotion. I took all of the things that happened in this process of doing something different. And I thought about what colors it inspired in me. And so my kind of pinky pinks colors here um, seem are, are very calming to me. Plus, it kind of represents the stone. Um, then I've got, of course, some blues in here. I've got some of this muted violet, some black. I always have a, a neutral, uh, neutralizing color, blacks or whites. And then I've got kind of this sand <clears throat> color. Um, so this is my color palette. And I'm going to really try to stick to my color palette. And so let me just show you real quick. So this is Arteza's Cold Gray. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, and if you lighten it up, it, you can you can get a lot of variations with it cold gray. I've got some beige out here to kind of mix in with my other colors. This is Lucas. And then, believe it or not, all the colors that I found that kind of inspired me were all Americana craft paints. This is blush pink, and that I kind of mixed together with some of this, um, uh, what call it, fawn color. Mix those two together to kind of get this kind of dusty um, stone color. I don't know how to explain it. I've got some morning mist. Is that not perfect? Morning mist. Um, it's really very gray, but has a little bit of a purple undertone. And in fact, it inspired my nail color. <laughs> um, this is called sand gray. Appropriate. <clears throat> and then I've got a couple extra colors in here. This is Liquitex soft body. It's in muted gray. I've got a little bit of turquoise, muted turquoise out here, just in case I need to add that pop of teal. You never know. And I actually even have out a little bit of burnt sienna. I don't think I'm going to use the burnt sienna because it was like I, you can see over here, I mixed it up and um, it felt too strong. It didn't really fit very well with my color palette, but you never know. Um, things are, uh, things change. And when I get going, it'll, it'll happen. And then I've got some, um, transparent raw umber out here in case I need to kind of grungy some things up. But I really, really want to try and stick with my color palette. That's my, my challenge <clears throat> to myself. So, um, that, that's my inspiration now and my colors. 
I've got, I want this to be really abstract because the process of this finding my inspiration has been very abstract. And um, all of the different elements at the water, the squares, the stones, all feel very abstract to me. So I want to, I want it to be very abstract and still be able to see what inspired it and to tell my story, to answer some of my questions. Um, all those things that we've been talking about over the last few weeks. And so I've got some papers out here that have some of those colorings. This is some, this is jelly, a jelly print from a couple weeks ago, actually. I think maybe from the, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, just some random bits of paper. And I chose these out of my stash because they were kind of in my color range. And so look at that. How perfect is that? I don't know how or if these will all find their way into my piece, but I thought, even if I don't use this side, I thought about this as kind of sand or stone or something. Oh, yeah, sky. Um, some letters or numbers, just because I always like letters and numbers and things. Have them ready. And here's some more just random backgrounds. But I chose these because of the color, because of how they might fit into. So like this is that sand color, kind of grayish colors, sand. So anyway, I have those out and ready to go. But what I want to do first, before I do anything else, is I'm going to um, kind of activate my creativity. Plus, I want to have some blacks and some white, some blacks mainly. For my abstract, I want to have some black marks or numbers or letters and things like that. So I'm going to set this over here. And I've pulled out, um, I've got some, a bunch of random stencils and some new ones that are coming to the shop next week. Um, but I have some just kind of random ones that have some fun pattern. And I've got my tissue paper out here. And I've got my black spray paint, spray, spray paint, carbon black. And I'm just going to go to town. I'm just going to lay. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to spray and move on. It was super fast, but it kind of gets me moving into my creative process. Plus, it's going to give me a stash of these blacks and um, for my um, abstract. And, um, hope, and I'm using tissue paper so that I can lay, they'll be like my last layers. So I can put them on top and allow all of the other layers to show through. So that is what has inspired me. Um, that's my journey I've taken. And today was, is all about doing something different. And we'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video. Um, but I want to explain everything first so you understood my journey through this. So let's get creating.
Well, there she is, my loves. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love everything about this. Um, I am just so pleased with the layers. I'm pleased with how this turned out. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this and kind of the layers and thought process in just a second, but mm, 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 so good. So um, I think there's four stencils that will be on sale. I used a whole bunch more, but um, several of them were the new stencils and they won't be out and in the shop until next week. Um, but I'll be doing some videos um, in the next couple of weeks um, showing off the new ones and they're fun, fun, fun. Um, so, but the ones that I can't, that I use, that I are in the shop already, those will be on sale. Um, there's two collage packs that I used. Um, one is hmm, handwriting backgrounds and autograph book. I think that I, I've got, <laughs> they'll be on sale too. They'll be, there's a couple. Um, those will be on sale. And then um, this sheet here, I, I didn't end up using, but um, I'm going to make it available in the resource library for free. So you can use this however you want to use it in your projects. Um, I think that's it. So back to finding inspiration. So we're on week three, like I said in the beginning, and I've taken you along my journey of feeling frustrated and tired and not having any ideas and even questioning my own ability, like, really, you're not that good. And I think we all go through that. And that's, I, I think that's pretty normal. And it's okay. It's okay to go through those ebbs and flows of not feeling it. But I wish for you to continue to show up. I hope that you continue to show up. Um, you know, take care, do all the other things, take care of yourself, rest, but continue to show up and not just give up when that happens. And, um, when you continue to show up, you might, and I have a thousand times created total crap. I have in my corner a stack of work, big, small, and in between that are cringeworthy. And that's part of the journey. And that's okay. But I continued to show up and I learned from every mistake, from every single one. I'm like, no, I won't do that again. Um, so I just encourage you, if you're trying to find inspiration, just getting started with art, not sure, all of those kinds of things, continue to show up. Continue to be willing to search, to try new things, to create crap, um, because it will come. And the lessons we learn in the process are um, help us grow. Grow in our craft, grow personally, all of those kinds of things. So today I did something different. Um, I put my focal point right smack in the middle. I never do that. Never, ever. Um, and I used these kind of really bold graphics. This is really actually kind of soft. And I used these kind of bold graphics and I was pretty timid with it at first. And then once I got it down, I was like, oh yeah. Um, so don't be afraid to do something different. Do something different for yourself. Take a walk. All of those things that I talked about at the beginning of the video, do something different and see what happens. See the surprises. See the complete crap, whatever it might be, but do something different because I guarantee you in that process, something will happen that will stir you, that will teach you, that will help you grow. And so um, I will link down below to the other two videos that I did. Um, in case you miss them about finding your inspiration, because it's kind of a process and it has been a process for me over the last three weeks, but I really feel that, I don't know, renewed, um, energy and renewed, um, inspiration. I have so many ideas, <laughs> I'm super excited. And so, um, just continue to show up and, 
and create and show and and show up in life because this applies to not just art this applies to life in general and um when we're feeling blah and i have felt blah for the last probably month just and i've shared that you know over the last couple weeks that i've just been so busy with workshops and different things like that and when that happens i lose my inspiration here at the table and i lose um this genuine um happiness and wonder about everyday life my rate relationships with with all of that taking care of things taking care of myself i lose some of that when i don't take care of myself when i don't do the things when i don't show up for me or show up for my art when i don't um, ask myself the right questions all for the last four weeks i've been asking myself sean what's going on what do you need what what's happening you know and I kept checking in with myself and journaling and all of those things and then doing something different. So I went for a walk. I changed up my workout. I did a, a bunch of different things differently. And through that process, I kind of came back to myself. And um, so it applies for our art and it applies, applies for our life as well. All right, my loves. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe and like and share and definitely leave me a comment. Um, I love reading your comments. I try to either respond or like all of the comments. Um, they just mean the world to me. And um, if you have questions, I always ask answer the questions um, as fast as I can. And in the comments, if you want to see something specific, a certain technique, a certain supply, anything like that, I would love for you to tell me that so that I can um, help serve you the best and bring you what you would like to see and kind of play and have fun in the process. All right, my loves, um, I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful. I hope that you do something different today and um, you are re-energized and that you keep on your path and you keep showing up for yourself and for your creativity. And I hope that you always, always know that you 